Hi Aries, the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Aries strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That said, it won't resonate with everyone, um, but hopefully there's something here that will help you as you move forward. Um, let's go ahead, Aries, and dig into um, the, the consciousness of Aries. Consciousness of Aries. <laughs> I want to look at what this is. Nine of the nine of um, Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. All right. Ooh. All right, Aries. What's happening here? <laughs> this is this might be a long shuffle. So for those of you that um, those of you that don't like the shuffle, just move forward. It'll it'll probably what time is it now? One minute. So move maybe move forward to the three minute mark, something like that. I'm just guessing. The, the energy is very, what is this? Let's look at the top row. Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. And then we have Nine of Wands in reverse. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Look at all these reverse reverse cards. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Strength energy. Empress. Oh my gosh! And the Emperor. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, Aries. Before I get started, there was another reading I did today with the Empress in the. That, that's embodying the energy of the sign. And I feel like that could have been Sag, Sagittarius. Could have been Sagittarius. I'm not for sure, but it could have been. <sighs> okay, Aries, before I get started, I live out in the country and there are um, some cows that are close by and there's a bull that's having, that's having a lot to say. So if you hear like a rumbling noise in the background, it is a cow that is out side out in the woods um being really loud so um just wanted to let you know that that was happening okay all right aries as you're entering into this week you are in the empress position and while i would love to say that we have an empress and an emperor here um i this is my spread is these two cards are the embody the energy that you are embodying uh, the first half of the week. That's really how the spread is. So the first half of the week, you're going to be in a feminine position of, of empowerment. And in the second um, part of the week, you're going to be in the emperor position of empowerment. So you're moving from a feminine position to a, to a masculine position as the week goes through Aries. Um, that's what we see here. So as you're starting the week, you are in the empress position. Um, you are in a place of creativity. You are in a place of management, management of the home, management of the workplace. You are you are in a place of management. Um, the management style is in the style of the great mother. Um, so there is nurturing here. There is understanding of humanity, uh, understanding of how to find resolution, how to come to um, some sort of agreement. There, there are some really beautiful skills that the Empress has where she understands that sometimes um, a soft word or some soft guidance or some um, or, or a conversation of understanding uh, and, and truly understanding the situation. Empress really likes to understand this, uh, the, to understand the situation. Just like if she ha um, has children, the Empress does totally understand her children. She has born them. She has raised them since they were um, tiny. She understands 
a lot about her children. And that's how she really feels about her projects. That's how she feels about her work. It's how she feels about her home. So, uh, you, you have a great responsibility, Aries, uh, to really, uh, nurture this along. I'm not sure what it is, but we have a lot of, uh, cards in the reverse here. There's something, Aries, that's going on around you, um, that you really have seen through. Like you've really seen through it. You've seen through the, you've seen through the ways that a group of people or a family group or a company or a government or anything that really is connected to the Ten of Pentacles, how that Ten of Pentacles can really control the things that we do, right? That Ten of Pentacles really is a strong lure to kind of lure us into um, towing the line, right? Doing what everyone else does, um, not creating any ripples, right? Keeping everything um, as is. That's what makes the Ten of Pentacles really happy, is to keep everything going as was planned, as is, without any changes. But Aries, it's not like that anymore. It's not like that anymore for this group of you. You guys are past the point of exhaustion with whatever you're dealing with, something here you've been dealing with, you're past the point of exhaustion. You're moving into this place where you really don't give a flying leap. What's going on with what the, with what the overhead says or what the family head of the family is wanting or what the grand scheme of plans is. You really don't have a whole lot of concern about that right now. There's something that you're working on that is truly of utmost most importance to you. And whatever rules and regulations were there, whatever kind of restraint you once had, whatever, whenever, whatever kind of um, hesitation that you had or consideration for others that you had, you really are letting all of that fall away now. This is very similar to the Sag, just a little bit, I would say Aries, a little bit more strong, <laughs> a little bit more strong than the Sagittarius reading. Same qualities. Fire signs might be going, might be going through some sort of, uh, it's going down and working in the energy that's held in the, in the two lower chakras, which is the safety and security and connection in with friends and family and interpersonal relationships, basically. Um, so whatever you're doing, Aries, you're really moving forward and you're moving forward with a lot of strength. You're powering forward and you're powering forward, I think, through the hesitations that are held within the mind because the eight of swords is in reverse with the knight of swords, like pushing it over. I feel like the knight of swords is pushing in and pushing this eight of swords over. It's just knocking it right over. There's something that has you in a position where you really don't care anymore. Whether it is something that you're doing because you're required to do it. Maybe you have no other choice. Maybe somebody has pushed you into doing it. Uh, maybe it is your ticket to your own um, control and wealth in your own experience. Uh, whatever it is, it's something that is ultimately like against what you were originally taught. Or something that was originally, you could even be going against some ideals that you once had within yourself. But now you no longer are um, paying attention to those anymore. The situation isn't allowing it. There could be some threat to a child. There could be a threat to a way of life that you have. There could be a threat to some sort of project that you've been working on. Or hobby that you have. Or um, your home. You could have some sort of um, threat, maybe a boundary threat. There, there, there's, there's something has happened here where you no longer are paying attention to those old problems, but moving forward with something that you have a lot of urgency to say or do, um, with the Knight of Swords. Let's go ahead and, um, connect in with the Knight of Swords and see if there's something here that we can, something more that we can pull out of the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords here. Five of Wands, some sort of complication. Um, coming up against 
uh, some sort of force that wants to argue with you, wants to fight with you, wants to slow you down, wants to burden you with something. Um, Knight of Swords as a swift mover and shaker. So uh, whatever you're coming up against, Emperor, it's there to slow you down, to stop you. Somebody else has a different opinion. They want to want you to do it a different way. Um, they want you to do it a different way. It's one way or another here. Um, higher font. It, it, it could go against tradition. It could go against the current system. It could be something that is um, not following along with, with the religion that is around you with the higher font. You're connecting into, you know, control of society, control of behavior. Um, with religion and um, with the law, with rules and laws and things like that. So um, there could be someone here or a situation here that really is pushing up against what you're wanting to do. But Aries, like you have this Knight of Swords here and this Knight of Swords is pushing through all of that. Um, I don't think this, this Hierophant really has a leg to stand on right now. Um, whatever this higher font wants, wants to do to control you, you're not allowing it to really step into your space. And with the five of wands, I really feel like it's sort of ridiculous. It, it has, you can see through it. That's what I felt like before. You can see through the baloney. Like your eyes have been open to what's really happening here. And you can really see through all of the, um, all of the, all of the, oddities that that are around this you can see through the human the the human nature that's here let's go into the five of wands maybe this would be a good time for a shadow card let me see if there's a shadow that would work to to have wands i think this person or these people want you to make a different choice they want you to choose a different path or to say it differently or to do it differently they might have a different way that they would do it um let me, let's get it. Let's see if there's a shadow. Now, I'm just going to go through the shadow cards just one time. These are just my shadows that I found and shadows of my siblings <laughs> that I've recognized. So please don't be offended by these. These are, I mean, they're ones I have. I mean, I guess you could be offended by them, but I hope not. Let's go and see if there's any shadow that I have that's similar. Otherwise, um, we'll, I'll just put the deck back if nothing comes out. Is there a shadow here that's connecting in? Is there a shadow here that's connecting in? My way or the highway. That's exactly how I how I found I felt the mandate method, my way or the highway, is really what you're dealing with here. So whose highway? What which is the right way? Um I always say if if it if it's my way or the highway, I I'll take the highway any day. The highway gets you there fastest. It's the smoothest route. It's the best way to go. Um, I don't mind the highway myself. And so I feel like there's something here that's like pushing up against you saying, this isn't, this isn't the way to do it. This is the way to do it. And you're saying, look, look, um, what, you know, make me, make me, make me do it that way. And I don't think there's anyone who could make you do it that way. I just think that there's some, somebody here. Um, somebody here or a situation here or um, some sort of person or a group of people who are trying to enforce their own way of doing things onto something that you're doing. You're in the mother position. This is something that you have created. It's something that you have created out of your internal self, right? It's come from your belly and it, you have a right to this. So um, whatever you're doing here, you are pushing past this um, my way or the highway kind of energy. You could have been pushing through this kind of energy all of your life. The fact that three of these cards are in the reverse, I feel it feels somewhat significant to me. The work that you're doing and the motions that you're and the and the and the actions that you're taking. As you um, move into the second half of the week, Aries, you're moving into a masculine. Um, control position. So while in the beginning of the week, you might have been in a more emotional space, you might have been very much in a communication phase. As you move into the last part of the week, um, you're pushing through um, into this work that you're doing. I really feel for many of you, this is something that you're doing. 
whether it's a job or a hobby or something that you really truly believe in, uh, it's something that you're doing um, with a lot of control, with with a, with um, a lot of expertise. It's something that you're doing because you absolutely know how to do it. And not only do you know how to do whatever it is that you're that you've perfected, but you know how to control it. You know how to accumulate with it. You know how to make it better for yourself because you're moving into the Queen of Pentacles position. So there's something here that you are positioning yourself to manage as you move forward. Um, whatever it is that you're working on, I really do think that it's th there is a um, concerted effort to to regulate the strength that you have within yourself, to regulate your health, to regulate the energy that you expend, to make sure that what you're doing is always helping to move you a little bit farther into betterment. The, the, the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor moves up over the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse into the Page of Pentacles. So you're working to like rebuild yourself um, in a new way, to, to do this in a way that's your own way, your own self, and to make, it's like almost like make, put your mark on this, put your name to this, to go against the grain and to do something quite different, um, but to find a system of control and a system of um accumulation, a system of success. And I feel like this masculine pushing through, it's, it's a very gritty, like pushing through, um, will turn back into a more feminine energy as you move this emperor energy where you're really working to control this. You could have a, a very strong system set up for yourself, a system of applications of software, um, of ways that the, the system almost in a way takes care of itself. This, this is very hard to do because you have to take um, the creativity and in a way put it to the side. So the very beginning of the week, it's more of this creative protective space where you're really moving forward and protecting something that is of high value to you. And then in the second half of the week, you're putting that Whatever it is that you protected, you're putting it into some sort of a, um, a system or a process. You're getting to work with it. You're working with it. You're working to manage it and, and, and almost in a way preparing it for the Queen of Pentacles to take it over. There could be a Queen of Pentacles here, Emperor, but usually this end, the beginning energy and the end energy is, the, is how you're kind of exiting exiting the week. So in a way, it's like you're saying, you know, if I could figure out how to do these few things, then I don't have to be so controlled all the time. It will work automatically for me because there is a sense here that there's, there's some work here. I really feel like there's some work to be done, Aries. And I feel like it's going to, it's, it is in your wheelhouse. I mean, this is something that you do quite well. But to do it, I, I feel like this masculine um, Aries um, that you're really focusing on, like pushing through and making sure that um, you have a system of stability here, something that you can do day in and day out that you can manage. Once you get that system figured out, you're moving into the Queen of Pentacles because now you have the work to do. Why is what I'm really interested in is why is a 10 of pentacles in reverse? That's kind of a mystery to me, Aries. It just seems kind of drastic to have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Maybe you just really don't feel the the 10 of pentacles is not just wealth. It's like the connection of people. Um, when we're by ourselves, sure, we have our own strength, but when we have a group of people that we connect into and we work together with, that that really adds a lot of strength and, and it brings a solid foundation into 
into the Ten of Pentacles, which is really is about legacy and long-term relationships and family units, right? And when the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, it feels like that support really hasn't been there. It really isn't there. And I really feel like you, you're past the point of really, um, you're done with shouldering the weight of this. Like you're not being concerned with this situation anymore, but I want to go into the Ten of Pentacles to see if there's anything more to get out of that energy. Knight of Cups. It's just, it's such a backwards, it's like it's a backwards mindset. I mean, it's like it's coming to you in an energy of love or in, in, in like the words of love, but when the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, it is like a false love or a an empty love, an empty caring. I really don't think you're too caught up in it anymore, Emperor. It is another way of controlling. I mean, I really feel like you're dealing with something that's been very controlling. And here we have the emperor coming out over this energy of love. But when there's no support, when there are re rules and requirements and, and, and teachings that have in many ways like limited your potential and you're recognizing those things, you really don't have any reason to play into that anymore and I do feel like there has been some sort of desire to control and it comes forward in the name of love in the name of love let me control you let me show you how it's done let me be the one to you know to steer the ship well I really don't think um, that's effective anymore at one point in time, it might have been quite nice, right? It might have been quite nice to have um, a person around who was taking control of the situation and and moving forward in in you know in 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 messages of love. But when you realize that it ultimately held you within a certain within a you know within a certain capacity and it's not really letting you move out of that capacity uh, it's no longer feeling you know supportive and, and kind and compassionate anymore it's feeling like it's it's like a sugary sweetness that um feels like a little bit of the devil energy if you ask me let's look at the page of pentacles page of pentacles Death energy. Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. Emperor, this is like a really deep reading. It's just a weekly reading. It's just a weekly reading, and I don't know why we have to bring in these really deep energies. Well, Aries, it's because it's happening. It's because it's happening. One day I had it in one day a while ago, Aries, I was so sick of getting these transformation readings. I'm so tired of getting them, the death energy, um, the hanged man, um, all of these really hard energies. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to just shuffle until I, get a, uh, until I get a good reading. And you know what, I shuffled and shuffled. And that was the last time, the first time and the last time I tried to steer a reading in for my YouTube readings or ever. Um, it, it, it's like, I don't know what happened, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put a reading out if it's, if it's like this, I'm so tired of doing it. And I shuffled and I said, Oh, there it is again. I shuffled up oh, there. It is again. And finally I realized these things are happening. Transformations are happening. Death processes are happening. Difficulty and desperation and dire situations are happening in this world right now, way more than they were before. So to see the death energy here, it doesn't surprise me. I think in many ways, Aries, you have learned how to find your own happiness. You have learned how to let go 
of the situations that ultimately bring oppression. You have learned how to let go of those things and you really have had to learn how to walk in your path alone. And that takes a lot of strength to do that. This death energy card, it takes a lot of strength to be on your own and have that fierce moxie that we see in this death card. But that's what you have inside of you. And when you have that kind of energy, when you're willing to move forward and, um, and to overcome after great loss and sacrifice, that's when you step into the hero's journey, which Aries, I'm, I'm feeling like you have somewhat of a hero's journey here. When you buck against the tide and when you do something ultimately that's different um, because it's something you believe in, because it's something you've learned, because it's something that you have an awareness about, and it might be an awareness or a knowledge or a niche market that maybe it isn't, it isn't common. Maybe it's something that's very rare, right? And it's something that it's connecting into the mind. So it's something that has to do with intelligence. It has to do with understanding and your way of communicating. That's what the Knight of Swords can do is communicate effectively, right? And to help to grow awareness and to grow development and to grow um, intellectual pursuits. So you have overcome quite a bit here and you have went through a, a, a process of loss. And now in your life at this point, you are at a place where you know you can stand alone and you know you can do this by yourself. And just that Aries brings you so much damn happiness. <laughs> and I can feel it. I can feel it here. It brings you so much happiness. Uh, in many ways, it sets you free. free. How are you doing on money? Um, towards the, the second part of, of this week, I think you're seeing some small improvements. I think you're seeing some small improvements because we do have the page of Pentacles here, but your heart is happy. You feel good. There's relief here. And I think Aries, you have your own little unit. You have your own, um, you have your own family. However, that's created. I think this bigger unit right here, this 10 of Pentacles in re in reverse, whatever this was, whether this was a big workplace, a large corporation, uh, a government organization, a large church group, whatever it was, I think you're realizing, you know, you can do this on your own. And maybe it's even going to be more powerful done on, on, on its own. Maybe there's a sort of quality areas that you can connect into better when you're on your own. So that's why this emperor is here, Aries, and it is something, it is your energy. It is something you can do quite easily. Is it what you wanted to do? I don't think it's how you wanted it to happen. That's why we have the death card here. It's happening that way because it's almost in a way forced to happen that way. Did you force it to happen that way? I don't think you did. That's a death energy. It comes at you not because you asked for it, because it's something that is required of you of because of some outside influence or something that has has come in and in a way taking control of a situation. So it's not what you planned it to be. It's never how you thought it was going to be. But in this case, you have so much happiness at just being able to move freely about by yourself. You've given up so much to be in this position. And with the strength energy that we see here, the emperor with the strength energy, um, you are a force to be reckoned with <laughs> or a force to be, people will step aside. People will step aside for this kind of momentum that you have. Are you at a position of not being sure of what you're doing? Sure, you're at a position of maybe not being sure. That's why you have to have the emperor. Because the emperor within you will hold you strong and steady as you um, create this system or as you move forward in a way that's going to be best for you. Whatever you're doing now, the words that you're saying, the actions that you're taking, you're being very careful with those actions, not for this riffraff, but for your future potential. You're being very careful, very observant, very structured um, here in the last half of this week. Um, as you're moving into the Queen of Pentacles energy, because I think, Aries, you're moving into some sort of work or some sort of self-care that's going to require you to be reliable, to be consistent, to be persistent, 
and to manage the bottom line. There's something here and you're going, I would say, Aries, I haven't done the extended yet, but I have a feeling you're, you're moving into a routine of, of, um, uh, you're moving into steadying this, this work that you're doing, these actions that you're taking into creating some sort of a routine for yourself that's going to require that the, um, the capacities of the Queen of Pentacles. And that's why you're moving into that position. Um, I, I think that this situation is settling in for you. And I think you're going to be very welcome. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is, is going to be a very welcome place for you to move into. Um, this has something to do with um, income, managing the bottom dollar, managing the small details in life. It's, it's very administrative, but it's also about self-care and how it's important to be reliable with our self-care, reliable with our with the with the actions that we take to keep ourselves healthy, as well as reliable and 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 tenacious about the work that we're doing to connect into abundance. Okay, Aries, I am going to move into the extended and we're going to move this energy forward. We are also going to look at the energies of love for Aries and the energies of money for Aries in the extended. So if you've resonated with this uh, and you want to move to the extended, feel free to do that. The link, um, to the to the extended reading is in the video description box below as well as the store for the personal readings um, i have a lot of variety in the personal readings that i'm offering i think the lowest price is twenty dollars and the highest price i think is 180 and i've done that on purpose because i know that there are many people that are struggling and so um, i've done that on purpose to offer a wide variety of 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 products just to to make them available as much as I can to, to everyone. All right. Thank you, Aries, for being here. It's a pleasure to read for you. Um, stay strong. I really do feel like you're moving into, um, into a, a space of freedom and success here for yourself, Aries. And, um, I, I really do feel this, this energy growing and building and you moving into a, a stable place here for yourself that is going to feel quite good and it's going to lead you into success. Um, so keep up the good work, stay strong, stay healthy, and don't get sick. <laughs> and um, I will see you back here on YouTube in another week or so with another weekly reading for Aries. All right. Thank you so much, Aries. Bye.